Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day. I'm Ali Lucia. This is the winter that just won't end. The calendar says it's April and it's spring, but we are under a winter storm warning. If your kids went to school this morning, they may be coming home early. Some schools are closing early because of the road conditions. Others started two hours late and there were some that just didn't open at all today. Look at these kids this morning in Fridley. Definitely a messy start to the day. We also want to remind you we do have school closings that are scrolling on the bottom of our screen. So be sure to check those out and see if it affects you. Now in the past 24 hours, the Minnesota State Patrol has responded to about 650 crashes and spinouts. About 30 people were injured and MnDOT had many plow trucks out during the night and again today trying to keep the highways as clear as possible. We have team coverage of today's storm. Mayor McGuire is in our mobile weather lab checking out the current road conditions and what this means for not only your driving but potholes as well. And then Matt Brickman is tracking the storm for us in the weather center. And we begin with you, Matt. Allie, that snow slowed or at least lightened a little bit over the last couple of hours, but within the last half hour or so, the heavy snow band is set back up over the Twin Cities and it is coming down heavily. 29 right now, blown around with those 15 mile an hour winds out of the north and visibility is cut down pretty much throughout the southern half of the state, down to a mile from St. Cloud to St. Paul, Faribault, and out west towards Redwood Falls. Winds get stronger, those visibilities get worse towards the afternoon. We'll continue to see steady, if not heavy, snow through the evening commute before things start to taper off a little bit later tonight, but that's not necessarily good news because that means it gets really cold down to about 10 tomorrow morning. Wind chills 5 to 10 below zero to start out, and we've actually got colder days than that on the forecast, along with another chance of snow. We'll talk about all that and let you know how much will be on the ground by the time this thing wraps up. Coming up. Feels more like January than April right now. Yeah, and <laughs> not exactly a warm up in the seven day either. All right, thank you, Matt. Mm -hmm. Our team coverage continues now with Mary McGuire live in the mobile weather lab for us with more on what the roads are looking like right now. Mary, how is the drive been? Well, Allie, like Matt was saying, the flakes are definitely flying here in Minneapolis. We're on 35W right now and check out the roads. They look a lot better than they did this morning, even though the snow is still falling. You can see that the chemicals that MnDOT was spreading, they are working and the roads look like they're mostly clear of the snow, although they still are wet from all of the melt. Now, this late season blast of snow is delaying everything from spring sports to road construction. MnDOT crews have been working hard since last night to clear away the snowfall and lay down salt. That means they aren't focusing on fixing potholes that have popped up over the winter and the early spring. In the snow, crews can put down a mix that will smooth out the roadway for a while, but for a longer term fix, they need warmer weather. One MnDOT official tells us the snow is delaying crews from fixing potholes, but that's not all. And it could make things worse because it's potholes are created by freezing and thawing and thawing and freezing, and there's more now to thaw and then freeze. Now, when it comes to road salt, MnDOT has enough on hand right now to combat the snow. However, if the winter weather lasts until May or June, then they would have to buy more at a higher price. Back here live near downtown Minneapolis, there is an old joke here in Minnesota that we have. Of course, we have two seasons, winter and road construction. Adding insult to injury, perhaps, MnDOT tells me that they do plan on announcing their full list of 2018 road construction projects tomorrow. So that will mark the unofficial start of road construction season here in our state alley. Mary, winter better not last until June. I'd be really disappointed about that, and I'm sure you would too. I think a lot of people would have plane tickets moving outside of the state by then. <laughs> you might be right, Mary. Thank you.